right, here's Spider Gwen. Very cool character. I love her costume. It's one of the cooler modern characters, I'd say. I love the colors on her suit. The portrait, I think, looks fantastic. Really, really good. Now she's pulling back her hood. Nice smile. Let's take a look at this base. She's just got her backpack there with her drumsticks on her band, I believe the Mary Janes. Oscorp. This is a really cool set. So we'll sneak around the back. Side. I really like this one. So it's got some nice details, the stitching sculpted into her suit there. They fixed up some of the seam lines that were showing on the last time they um, had this on display. I really like this statue. Spider Gwen. Let's go around the front, take another quick look at the portrait again. Wow. I really like that. And it looks great. Spider Gwen. There's another shot from the front. The whole overall. This is a very cool piece. Okay, here's one that I'm really excited for. Scorpion. Continuing the Spider-Man Villains lineup. This one's a must-have. This is a classic setup for him. He does have sort of a more highly armored and modernized look as well, but this is this looks amazing. Look at some of the metallic paint, the textures on his suit. Look at this classic portrait. See how they brought the mask over his lips, just like they do in the classic comics. It looks amazing. The tail. Look at this thing. This is a must-have, I think, if you're into the Spider-Man line. Scorpion. Let's walk around the back. That's an amazing piece. Must have for Spider-Man fans, I'd say. Scorpion from XM Studios. All right, we got Carnage. And that's actually the that's Caleb Nefson in the background there. He sculpted this piece. He's camera shy. Probably doesn't want to get in the video. But it's a cool statue. Uh, uh, the glossy black looks really good. I like this is what I would go for the hand setup. I like these blade hands. Here he does have some other options. They were out earlier. I don't know where they've gone, but Carnage. He looks really cool. We're on the other side. Blade hand. Now for anybody wondering, this guy's about 21 inches to the top of the spire. A little over 21 inches maybe. But we get close up on that portrait. That's Carnage. From XM Studios. Okay, here we've got Black Cat. I didn't order this piece. I wasn't sure about it, but I do like it. Hopefully you can hear me over the music rehearsals in the back. 
We're doing some sound checks. I like the gems on the paws, gems on the eyes, got the gems on the back paws as well. I like this pattern sculpted in here. I like this, the green finish on the cat looks really nice. It looks like it's made of jade or something like that. And you got Catwoman sitting in her sultry pose on the top. We'll skip around to the front. Show you some of the texturing on the suit. All right, so she got that sort of pleather finish there and then the textured finish on the inside of the thighs. Cat medallion around her neck. Zipper. Zipper looks really cool. Nicely sculpted and painted. Try to show you her face there. Yeah, Catwoman. I think it turned out a lot better than I was expecting. I like it's a little bit smaller in terms of space that it takes up, so it shouldn't be too taxing on your display space. I like it. Black Cat. XF. Turned out pretty good. Here's another one that I've been waiting to see assembled. They've been slowly doing it throughout the day. Spider-Man. Finally Spider-Man comes out to complete this lineup. It's not totally assembled just yet. There, if you can see the web line, it does go into his hand to make it look like he's really propelling himself around it. Oh, here's Dr. Octopus. He's going to be set up later. That's the base. I'll get a video on that too. But here's Spider-Man. I think this looks really, really cool. This is like a full propulsion web swing around this pole. And I, I don't think Spider-Man's ever quite been shown like this before. He's got a little bit of battle damage on his suit. I really like the eyes. That's something that you know, different artists draw it different ways. Now this one has switch outs for the base and here they've got the Dr. Octopus tentacles. And I believe there's a Sandman sort of bursting forth from that grating. And I believe there's a Sandman and a symbiote. So he's battling a bunch of villains here. You can see the pumpkin bombs. Green Goblin pumpkin bombs there. I like this. It's big. So just be warned, he's going to take up a lot of space. Very tall. And then with especially like look at these. Oh, I just noticed this. Look at the camera. Peter Parker's camera, of course, taking pictures of all the action. But wow, this spider yeah, he's cool. I like it. When, you know, not everyone was in love with this piece, but seeing it now here in person, I really like it. Cool, so there's Spider-Man from XM Studios.